Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. I am here with Danny Amorum, a barber from Elizabeth, New Jersey. He represents Andis, and we just did the best shoot, but everybody here at the studio is asking, how do you do this, Danny? So we want to tell you to give his tip of the day on how to create the handlebar mustache. My tip of the day for the handlebar mustache definitely has to be some type of a pomade. A lot of people think the mustache wax works. I've tried every single mustache wax on the market. It never works. My mustache will fall within two hours later. So what keeps the volume up, what keeps the hold, is definitely a nice, strong hold, firm pomade. I like using a pomade by the name of Layright. They have a regular hold and a super hold. Sometimes I mix them both. I really like using it because, as you see, it will give me a strong hold. It will last the whole day. I don't have to worry about it wearing it down. And it gives me a different look. I liked it. It was something I picked up when I saw in California a couple years ago, and it's part of me now. So I am officially the mustache guy. Yeah, you know what? You're not getting off that easy. So what do you do? Do you put a lot on? Do you tw twirl it up? Do you have blow it dry? I mean, how do you actually get it to curl? There's actually a big process. I've spoken to a lot of different people with mustaches, and everybody's process is a little different. Some use hairspray prior, but I initially start it, apply it as soon as I get out of the shower and leave it for about maybe five ten minutes and then I'll go and touch it a little more try to curl it and then maybe a half an hour later I'll finally get the full curl sometimes it's a little bit of a process but hey looking good is a process <laughs> so you have to do this every single morning do you ever go out without I mean if you didn't do that what it would just fall into the other yeah, stuff normally I would just put possibly a little bit so it's out of my way so I'm not really chewing on my mustache you know and I could eat, no problem. But normally I'll just put it in, and I don't wear it up all the time. I only wear it up once in a while, whenever I'm in the mood, because it's definitely a process. Sometimes waking up in the morning, I don't have too much time. I'm already trying to do my hair, let alone doing my mustache. It's a whole other process. Oh, that's just so much fun. Okay, and last thing, this little color here, what's that all about? This was actually something I decided to put on my beard a couple months ago. I've always worn facial hair. I've always worn a beard. It's a little masculine, and sometimes people might look at it as a little aggressive. I figured it gave a little flash, a little pizzazz. It gave a little flavor to my beard, and I've gotten anything but compliments on it, so I guess I did something right, and it's kind of working. And the formula? The formula, I had my cousin do it for me. I definitely had to strip it because I have long, dark black hair, so I stripped it first, and then I applied a nice burgundy wine color. I'm Portuguese. I drink wine, so I figured, hey, why not? A little wine in my beard never hurt anybody. Well, that's very cool. Nice little accent there. Nice Thank little. Uh, somebody called it once a flower when you have something that's different or unique. So that's your little flower. You got a lot of flowers going on here. <laughs> he also has these glasses. We keep going in and out and they keep changing color. So kind of like the whole look. We just did the best shoot on two guys and it's running in a couple of months and I can't wait to see that and it's been a joy working with you today. Thank you for having me. I'm very stoked. I had a great experience today. I love what I do. I live with a passion and you'll never work a day in your life when you love what you do. Nice way to end. All right, Thank thanks you. a lot. We'll see you. Bye. <laughs>